AIS will be having a 5 day break from 13th to the 17th. Upcoming during Lunar New Year is the Valentine's Day. Share your love to ones you care. February 12th, KIS will hold a school meeting with all preschool through 12 students in the Phoenix gym to show that KIS cares. This season was a special one for KIS Phoenix, marking the season with best kayak ranking in KIS history in Division 1. Here are the results. JV Basketball Boys came 6th in the tournament, Boys Varsity 5th, and Girls Varsity 8th. Lastly, both cheerleading squads placed 3rd behind Tegu and ICS Ujungu. Good morning KIS, welcome to PTV, I'm Paul Choi and LJ Kim. Let's see what's happening at our school. On Monday, National Honor Society held the second annual induction ceremony to officially introduce and welcome new members. This ceremony also recognized senior members who will be departing. Here is Sarah Jang with a closer look. Hey Paul, right now I'm at the 2010 NHS induction ceremony. Looks like the ceremony will be a great success. Let's take a closer look. National Honor Society held their second annual induction ceremony this Monday at the G Conference Hall. 24 new members were inducted, along with the warm welcome letters written by the experienced senior members within the club. Members gathered and exchanged their candle flames in hopes of another beautiful year at the chess. Looks like another great year awaits for KIF and NHS members. This has been Sarah Jang, PTB. Back to you, Lutzi and Paul. Last Friday, Mr. Spivey, Mr. Bray, and three student representatives headed to Seoul International School to demonstrate the one-on-one -on -one laptop program. Here's Lin Hong and Jessica Yoon with a story on KS visit to SIS, presenting the new educational method. KIS students went to the SIS Middle School to introduce the one-to-one -one program. Mr. Spivey, Mr. Bray, and several KIS student representatives started off with an overview of Apple tools such as iMovie, VoiceThread, PhotoBooth, and GarageBand. As well, the KIS team opened up a Q&A panel session in which SIS teachers posed questions to students on how one-to-one -one applies to education. It was a bonding experience for both schools, forming a bridge of information. We had uh, an unbelievably great audience and we had some extremely good help. Um, like this could not have been done without the support that we had um, from KS as a whole and SIS. Looks like it has been a great exchange of knowledge between the schools. This has been PTV, Lin Hong. We all know February 14th, Valentine's Day. Here's an interesting fact many foreigners don't know about Valentine's Day in Korea. Valentine's here is a day when a girl gives chocolate to a guy she likes. The guy gives the girl candy on white day, but that's a month later. So where's mine? What? Where's my Valentine's? Haven't prepared one yet? <laughs> Thank you for joining us. That concluded the 18th segment of PTV. We'll be back next week, Friday morning. Until then, have a good day. And, and happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. day. Yes, the latter game is happening right here, right now, with our love helper, Patrick Nam. Let's go see who the contestants are. Now we're really ready to play the ladder game. Let's start with our first contestant, Brendan. Here we go, we start with Brendan. One, two, and... It's oh, yeah! So we go on with the note now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, yeah! Ryan Tay. Yes, we have the red balloon. <laughs> 